your job. Uh, I'm recording these tapes to help you get settled on your first nights. I'm guessing you'll be replacing me after I quit this job in about a week. I'm going to warn you, this place is a nightmare. I don't really like it here, but, well, money is money, I guess. Uh, anyway, let's start with the basics. So, as you can see, you have a computer in front of you with the camera system. To change the cameras, just use the numbers on your keyboard. Behind you, you have the main hallway and a security door. To close it, just hold the button, and then under the desk, you have the vent system. I will explain later why you need to use that. Uh, now, there are a lot of things happening in this place at night, mainly involving the uh, animatronic characters. You see, they tend to move for some reason. I asked the company about it, and they just told me it has something to do with their security systems malfunctioning. I, I don't really know, and I don't really believe that either. You might have already heard the stories and stuff from this place. Uh, a lot of people saying the spirit of the owner is haunting the place because, well, he died here. Um, guessing you know all of this, or at least I'm, uh, I hope. Uh, anyway, uh, going back to the animatronics, there are five of them on the stage. You know, Maggie, Chanchi, Lola, Hank, and Flower. And then there's that other one in Parts and Services, but we'll talk about him later. So let's start with Maggie and Lola, you know, the yellow cat and the orange dog. So they'll try to go to your office, and they'll try to get in through the hallway behind you. When you see them close to you, just close the door, and they'll eventually go away. Uh, now, for Chanchi the pig, you'll see him staring right at the camera. Whenever you see him, just change the camera really fast, and you'll you'll be okay. If you don't change it fast enough, though, he will start running towards you. Uh, if the camera stopped working after you saw him, then just turn around. Check if he's in the hallway. And if he is there, close the door as fast as you can. Uh, that should be all for tonight. You don't have to worry about the others yet. Well, uh, see ya, and good luck.
he made it. I'm not going to take very long, don't worry. Uh, the animatronics tend to get a bit more active as the nights progress. But, hey, I'm here to talk about the other two on stage, Hank and Flower. Uh, so, these animatronics are kind of special, in a way. They're like a hide-and-seek thing. They're programmed to hide from the kids, and the kids have to find them. They're not allowed to do that during the day now, though, after the incident with the owner. Now they're kept on stage, but at night they're allowed to uh, play freely. Now, they have very specific locations where they hide. If you notice that one of them isn't on the stage, then a warning sign will pop up on the camera where they are. Just change to that camera, watch them for a, like a second or two, and they'll, they'll notice the camera's found them, and they'll go back to the stage. Now, if you don't do that, uh, they will crawl through the vent system, and they will go into your office. Uh, if you hear them crawling around in there, just look at the vent with your flashlight, and th they'll go away. Uh, just make sure they actually do go back to the stage. Sometimes they'll still hang around in the vents, and you'll have to flash them again. I will recommend you to not let both of them get to the vent. If they're both in the vent, then... Well, that's... that's game over, pal. Oh, and something I noticed. If you look at them, they'll take a little bit longer to move. So, yeah, that's all. Good luck. <laughs>